Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you something really cool that I figured out with ChatGPT. I was playing around with ChatGPT with the various tables that it can create. And I'm going to show you how, how to do those today. But I happened to go on my real estate website and just for the heck of it, I said, can you create me a list of neighborhoods in Summerlin, which is a, a, a master plan community in Las Vegas. And it gave me the list. And then I said, put it in a table. And on one side, put the neighborhoods and on the other side, put the features. Could not believe the output that ChatGPT gave me. Then I was able to take that table and go right over to my WordPress blog and actually put it on the blog. So now that table becomes part of the blog. So let me show you some of the ways we can use these tables as content creators. So I'm going to go right over here and share my screen with you. And I will bring myself back on as I always do. There we go. Okay. Now, let me give you an idea. Let's let's do the one for, let's do, let's do zip code. This was really cool. So well, let me show you the first one I did. So I said, give me a list of neighborhoods in Summerlin. Now, right now I'm on G, G, a chat GPT 4, but I actually was able to do that with 3.5 and get a great result. So here we go. So it's basically saying here are the neighborhoods that are in Summerlin as of 2021. Now, if you have a web, if you have an, uh, an extension where ChatGPT goes out and browses the web, it can pull in other neighborhoods as we know. Right now, as of today when I'm making this video in uh, July, ChatGPT's internet plugin is disabled. And as far as I know, being also has chat gpt off right now while they work out some kinks in their uh privacy settings or whatever it is that they're doing that said there are extensions that will work so as you can see right now i got a really incredible list and and i am a summer i i am a real estate agent in the las vegas area and lived in summerlin for 30 years so i know this is an incredible output as it is now what I'm going to say instead is um, put the most popular neighborhoods in a table and list the features in the next column. Okay, so here we go. So gave it a, a little disclaimer, as it always does. So the Ridges, known for its luxury homes, it features Jack Nicklaus Bears Best Las Vegas Golf Course and the Club Ridges Private Fitness Center. Red Rock Country Club talks about the golf courses. Sienna, is, it knows it's an age-restricted 55-plus community offering a golf course, fitness center, indoor and outdoor pools. The Paseos, and it talks about what that village has, Summerlin Center, the Cliffs, Reverence. Now, if we get down to the bottom, I can say, are there more? Because what I do know is they didn't cover them all. And I know I, I know that because of Summerlin. If you didn't know that, then you can just say, are there more? So now here comes more. The Gardens, the Hills, the Mesa, the Vistas. Okay. And it's giving it all these information this information about these neighborhoods. Now, I don't like to build my tables when I'm dealing with ChatGPT too many uh, columns, unless I'm going to copy those columns into a mobile friendly table creator. So for example, if I just copy this and I paste it into WordPress in small text, it'll copy it pretty good. For mobile some of these words if they're really long might might go down to the next line but it does a pretty good job as soon as i add a third column a fourth column it starts to get clunky so if you have a, any type of wordpress plugin like i use table press i'll try to remember to put a link below for you then i can just copy it and put it right into table press and it'll work or you could copy this and put it into a google sheet and then if you have a Google Sheet plugin where it reads it and makes it mobile friendly, then you can just put it in there. So that's just a little sidebar there. You don't want to go crazy with too many columns unless you know how to copy that over into a mobile friendly table. But if I did want to put a third feature, I could say, let's say, make a list of Summerlin neighborhoods 
in, in a table. In the next column, list the, uh, let's do, list the parks. And in the third column, note if they are gated, golf community, 55 plus, etc. Now let's see what it does for us. So look at this. So neighborhood village, the arbors, arbor tenants and play park, family friendly, some gated communities. Now as a real estate agent, I'm gonna remove anything that says family friendly, just fair housing regulations. So I can tell chat GPT to replace that with pet friendly, anything like that. It is a pet friendly neighborhood, okay? So in fact, let's spin off on that idea. Watch this now I could say, um, make a list of Las Vegas neighborhoods that are known to be dog friendly. Let's see what it does. So now I could go create a blog post called dog friendly neighborhoods in Las Vegas or pet friendly neighborhoods in Las Vegas. And as you can see, so basically what any, any whatever your niche is, if you're not connected to the internet, it will pull in any data up to the cutoff date of 2021. That's uh, that's where it is today. That could change tomorrow. If you're connected to the web, you can get uh, get more results. Now, let's just say you're on here and you want to connect to the web, but they have their they have the plugin disabled right now. I use and I'll put a link below to this too. This is called um, Sidebar. And it's not ChatGPT, but it's powered by ChatGPT. So it runs very similarly. So they have chat, they have ask, they have write. You can save your prompts. You can create text to image, um, text, text to image images. You can use chat PDF. It's all kinds of things that you can do in here. But watch this. So there is a little button called web access. So I can go to four, I can go to 3.5. Now watch, make a table with Las Vegas neighborhoods that are dog friendly and include a column that explains why. Let's try that. That might get too wordy, but let's see. Okay, so now it's a sure I can help you with that. Okay, now it's pulling us a table. This Their formatting is clunky on this particular one because it's going out and pulling in so what it did is it actually went out and pulled in all the dog parks. I can tell because I'm looking at all of those. So in this particular case, that, that, that didn't work for us. So give me a table of dog parks in Las Vegas. The tables are actually beautiful that it creates. There we go. So there's all the dog parks. Okay, do that again in the second column, list the neighborhood. Perfect, except for it's not perfect. So I'm getting NA, so I don't want those. But watch this. Now I can compare answer from original chat GPT. So let me get off the web and let's just try what it comes up with on its own. It actually did better. And I love to compare those because sometimes it'll do better without pulling it from the web. Now I can literally just copy this and I can paste that into a Google spreadsheet or I could paste that right onto my blog. Or if you want it to be an image, you could just do a screen capture and make that an image that you actually put on your blog, or you can put that in a plugin like Table Press where it's sortable, searchable, that kind of thing. Let me give you an example, a non-real estate example where we could use something like this. So I'm gonna go to new chat and I'm gonna say, um, make a table of affiliate programs related to the health and fitness niche. Include a Include the network that manages the affiliate program. So Amazon Associates, ClickBank, Commission Junction. So that really isn't great because, and I know this because I am an affiliate marketer. I don't like that it put ClickBank because that's not, that's more of a network than it is the product. So I might try this again and say, do it again, only list specific affiliate program brands. Let me try that. It still did the same thing. Okay. Now let's see what this side cider does. Make me a list of affiliate programs in the health and fitness niche. 
put them in a column, put them in a table with a column that lists the affiliate network. Okay, now web access is on. So this one's doing a good job of, of the actual pulling current things. So Fitbit, NASM, Fan Fuel. So it did not do a good job of putting it in the affiliate network. It did include the sources of where it's getting all of that information from. But if we turn off the web, it'll do it again. There, now it's working. Isn't that weird? I don't know why they do that. So now we're actually getting the correct affiliate networks. Okay. You could say, uh, let's say only list affiliate programs offered within the CJ affiliate network. And now all of them would just be CJ affiliate. So that's just an ex another example of how we can use these tables. Now here's another example. Um, I'm writing a blog about the differences between Ezoic and Monumetric for content publishers. Make a list of the key differences in a table. Now I'm going to take that same prompt because I want to run it on the other side too. Okay, so now it'll go out and it'll pull in. So Ezoic utilizes AI powered and optimization to automatically test and optimize ad placements. Monumetric provides expert ad optimization services. So it's got the pricing models. Now, again, if it's not pulling from the web, you're only getting information that was available up to September 2021. So what you could do first is you could do something like this. We'll browse the web and I'm going to put, uh, tell me, let's do list the differences between Monumetric and Ezoic for bloggers and publishers. Okay, so now it's giving us a table. Okay, now see how the table shrinks down a little bit? That's what I was talking about in reference to when you put it on your WordPress blog, sometimes it'll shrink that down. Well, it doesn't mean this will be shrunk. This just happens because I don't have the whole window open. You can open it in full chat and copy it over. Okay, now let's see. Another thing, what was I going to show you there? So table listing the key differences. Okay, you could copy that and feed it to chat GPT. Here are the key differences. Are there more? I think you get the idea here. It's an amazing way to create tables.